Hey everybody, it's John here from VidGamiac.com. Here we are today, back in Bioshock, and I'm going to be showing you a glitch to get the Brass Balls achievement. Alright, the first step to this is to download the DLC. You do that by heading into the Marketplace, go to Browse Games, and then go to Add-ons, then bring up the alphabet, and then bring up the letter B. You want to look for Bioshock, it's right here by the other two games. And then you want to download this DLC, Ryan Industries Plasmids and Gene Tonics. As soon as you have that, you can start a new game, and after you adjust your brightness, you want to set the difficulty to easy. Then as soon as the game starts, you want to hit start, and then go down to options. And then you want to make sure that this option is turned on. Disable Vita Chamber. You want to make sure that is turned on. And then you have to play through the whole game on easy until you get to the chapter of Fontaine, which is the last boss fight. As soon as you get there, make a save, and then load it up. And here we go. And this is the final boss fight against Fontaine, or Atlas, whatever you call him. This is how the boss fight works. You go up to him and drain Adam. And then he will attack you. The basic strategy to beat him is when he's red, which is his fire mode, you want to cast Winter Blast on him. And when he is frozen like this, you can go up to him and smack him around with your wrench. Or you can shoot him. I recommend the wrench because we have it upgraded at this point uh, with the wrench jockey um tonics it, especially if you've been going after all the tonics you know the wrench does a ton of damage when it's upgraded all the way or you can use the guns if you have those upgraded you know it's up to you on how you like to play but melee is always better for these situations and especially on easy once he loses a health bar he's gonna go back and you can drain him of more atom then you're gonna have to fight him again and as you can see here, he's in ice form, so instead of using Winter Blast, we're going to use Incinerate. And it won't stun him, but it'll do damage to him. It'll also do um, chip damage, so he loses health while he's being burned. He also calls his buddies, the security bots, to help him out, so you have that to worry about. But don't worry, it's on easy, and he is also no problem. So he's going to be down to two bars, and we are going to take the uh, third... Um, Vial of Adam from him, and now he has his final form, and he'll throw like gravity balls at us and punch us. But once again, Incinerate helps out a bunch here because he will lose health, um, just just standing there and getting burned. And once you take out this health bar, this is where the glitch comes into play. This is when you are taking out the last vial of Adam. So you're gonna go up to him, hit A, and as soon as you hit A, you want to hit Start, and then go to Options. And then you want to change the difficulty to hard. And when you exit out, you want to hit the start button instead of the B button. The reason for that is start saves the changes and B just exits out. And as soon as he dies, you're going to get a cutscene. I'm going to cut it out here because I already spoiled the game enough for you. But as soon as it's over, you should get the achievement for a 100 gamer score as well as beating the game on hard for 40 gamer score if you don't already have that. And that's it. 